So here we are, trying to take an even closer look at the 6-inch CAV starter. Now, what I've tried to do here is I've shown the circuit diagram on the top half of the picture and the motor itself on the bottom part. And I've lettered the circuit diagram and I've lettered the physical motor um, the same so that you can follow so that you can, you can identify points on the motor that are represented by points on the circuit. Now, you'll see there that point A on the motor itself is actually arrowed to three different places on the motor. For those of you who are not familiar with electrical engineering, I'm only pointing out that in terms of electric potential, those three points are the same. They're all point A. Now, I could do the same thing with points E and B and, and well, not so much C, but that's the way it is with electricity. Once a thing is joined together, they are at the same electrical potential. So, on we go. This is the home position of the starter. There's nothing happening. If you study that circuit diagram there, you'll see that there's no way current can flow from point A to point B. There's just no paths through. So let's see what happens whenever we close the starter button there at point C. So you can see now that the little green element, which is actually the iron core in that coil, that coil can also be referred to as a relay. That's exactly what it is, a, rel a relay. It's a relay and a switch. As that green element moves to the left, it makes it pulls the wire at D across with it so that D then becomes 12 volts. It becomes high in electrical terms and current can flow through the pull-in coils and through the auxiliary coils. And as I shown you in the previous video, whenever that happens, the whole rotor moves forward. The whole Shing Bang windings motor a rotor, everything moves forward, moves to the right on our picture. We can see on the next slide what happens then. You can see now that the electric current has two paths. It can flow through D, it can continue to flow through D, through the two coils at the top and down to earth. But it can also flow through the main coils there at E, through the rotor and down to earth. So that's the motor in its running position. Your engine will now be starting. The motor will, have, will be exerting full torque and starting your engine. We're, we're home and dry. Now, the next slide just shows you the two plates at the back there. Uh, the one nearest the camera uh, is only high. It's only at plus 12 volts when the rotor has moved forward and the circuit is complete. Um, in front of that is always at zero potential. It's your negative connection and it's always negative irrespective of where the rotor is or what the starter is doing. That will always be at zero volts. So I hope that we exercise this, hope you to understand the electric circuitry on the CAV 6-inch starter. Thank you so much.